You are watching Park TV. Welcome to Monadnock Tonight with your host, Steve Jackson. Coming to you live from the studios of the Park Theater in downtown Jaffrey, New Hampshire. Join Steve and his guest today, Yankee Magazine associate editor and co-owner of Escape Hatch Books, Joe Bills, and lovely singer Eve Pierce. Now sit back, relax, and hear Steve. Well, good afternoon, good evening, everyone, and uh, welcome to the Park Theater and Park TV's Monadnock Tonight. It is Thursday, July 2nd, 2020, 5 p.m. here on the East Coast, and this is show number 30. How about that, folks? Number 30. Uh, and we're getting ready for July 4th weekend, uh, so how about that, too? And uh, yes, uh, I am Steve Jackson. I'm the CEO of the Park Theater and your host. And so glad you can join us. Um, we will get to uh, hopefully two very intriguing and talented guests, except one of our uh, guests is not here yet. So we don't know what that's all about, but we're prepared for anything. Uh, so we will uh, work uh, by the seat of our pants. But if if anybody knows Joe Bills, um, and many people do, because he's such a great guy, please tell Joe to get here and to uh, turn on his, uh, you know, uh, sign in with us. But uh, we'll get back to that in a second. Um, but first, uh, would love to uh, just show our underwriting sponsor is Bell Tates, and here is their commercial. At Marvin, we make more than just windows and doors. We make brighter mornings, open invitations, and relaxing retreats. We make windows and doors inspired by how you live, so you're inspired to live well. Discover Marvin at Beltates, your local Marvin retailer. Since 1898, Beltates product specialists have been offering quality building products throughout southern and central New Hampshire. Visit one of our six displaying locations or beltates.discovermarvin.com. Uh, we're back, and thank you so much to our friends at uh, Bell Tates for everything they do to support us, and they do a lot to support us. So thank you, everyone over there. Um, as I was saying beforehand, uh, but before I get to it, there's still we can we can make up a little bit of time, and hopefully Joe will be here. Uh, but um, there is a lot of stuff going on, um, uh, and uh, I'd like to take you through it. Um, so hopefully in between Joe will get here, um, or, uh, our second guest will be our first guest. Um, one thing that I wanted to give an update on to, for everyone is, uh, what's going on with our 2020 online seat telethon and auction. Now, July 10th is when the live broadcast happens at 7 PM uh, here, right where you're watching on Facebook uh, live, but we will also be on YouTube live simultaneously from 7 until 9 p.m. And we will have our celebrity guest judges, uh, Ray Brewer from uh, WMUR and um, uh, Ernest Thompson, Oscar winner, and uh, Ben Robinson, artistic director who was on our last show from Raylan Moore Opera. And many more surprise uh, surprise guests coming uh, to take your pledges uh, for seats because we are, fun, thank goodness, we're finally getting to the end of uh, our seats uh, being sponsored and named uh, through generous donation uh, donations uh, in our main William David Upps Auditorium. But right now, you can participate in this and... Um, by going on the auction part of this, which culminates on the live broadcast, but you can get your bids in and get yourself uh, registered for bidding now, and, and you can do a bid. And starting in the top left there, that is a beautiful townhouse uh, in the uh, Lincolnshire uh, portion of uh, the UK. 
and you can rent that charming townhouse for a week. Um, and going over, you can, there's a bid out on already, but you can beat that bid uh, a week uh, at a resort in Cabo San Lucas. And then a beautiful painting uh, by Chris Reed, who donated this of the of Man Mount Monadnock. How about a ton of wood pellets from New England wood pellets? Uh, going down back to the left again, how about a week at a Zulu safari in South Africa at a uh, number one rated uh, resort uh, and uh, safari camp? Uh, and then I'll move all the way over first I'll flip before I get to those little white background ones. And we're just adding this one. It's not up yet, but it is gather your friends because that one on the right middle there is the number one resort in Bali. And it is for 10 people. Not does not include airfare. None of these include airfare, but they, uh, but it, it is like the most incredible trip advisor rates, the number one in that region of Bali, the number one resort. Uh, and so gather family, friends and get away from it all, uh, for a week plus at the, uh, at the Bali resort. Uh, the gentleman below is the Oscar winner who will also be a pledge taker, Mr. Ernest Thompson. Uh, and he will be, uh, taking your pledges. Um, but he also has a uh, course that he is going to be, because of COVID, is going to be uh, doing online with Zoom in a writing workshop. You go one over, how about a year's membership at the Shattuck uh, Golf Course? And then uh, a beautiful oil painting by Barbara Dancer of those flowers. And, and then the little ones, you know, we give certificates to sunflowers, uh, give certificates to Joe Bill's uh, bookshop, Escape Hatch. He is so kind, and his brother, uh, Fred, to donate that to us, a $100 gift certificate. The next one up there is a little filmmaker. Well, that one is actually me, because if you have a business or a service, uh, you can bid on having a professionally made video of your business or service to use on social media like Facebook or YouTube or for sales presentations or whatever. Uh, very handy thing to have if you're in business and you use social media and most businesses, almost all businesses do. And above that, back to our friends at Bell Tates. They are, uh, they've given us a beautiful Weber grill. And, um, and then, uh, so that's just, uh, there are probably 30 more items up for, uh, for bid. So you can go on there after the show, go on to the parktheater.org and you're going to see a banner that's at the top of the page and just click on that banner and you'll go right into the, um, to the auction telethon, uh, landing page and then hit the, the auction button. And you'll be able to see all these incredible items. Look at the descriptions. There are usually three photos per item. And uh, make a bid. They they start as low as value as 2500 and they go up to 18000 So there's quite a, quite a range. Um, one of the things of the telecast that would making it possible is uh, sponsors that, are, that have come on. And we are so happy to sponsor the telecast next week. And... Uh, Al Devlin, Matt Devlin, Devlin and Son Plumbing since 1915. They are uh, uh, sponsoring the uh, seat telethon and auction. And also uh, a, a board member and a great friend of the Park Theater all the time, uh, Kevin Hamsey and Mike Grenier at Hamsey and Grenier Associates. The rentals, you know, sales, property manage management, they do covid commercial cleaning for businesses that need that now. Uh, so those are our two sponsors. Please support them. Um, and please, um, uh, you know, tell them that you're supporting them because uh, you saw that they sponsored our, uh, are sponsoring our telethon and, and auction. Something big that's happening Saturday uh, and is this. And so for 20 years, um, various groups have come together and they um, 
uh, they put on a reading of the Declaration of Independence at the Jaffrey Center Meeting House. And because of the pandemic going on right now, it's usually 150 plus people inside, inside there. But what we've put together is a virtual reading of the Declaration of Independence without an audience. It was filmed, and the film, along with wonderful music from Bernie and Louise Watson, and uh, many familiar faces like uh, David Chamberlain, our uh, fire chief, and Joanne Buck, uh, doing the readings. Uh, it will premiere 12 noon on this Saturday, July 4th. You can go to the townofjaffrey.com and you will see the YouTube link that you can uh, see this wonderful video of these folks reading the uh, reading the Declaration of Independence and the signers. It's really quite an event. This is the 20th year. Uh, Rob Stevenson put together this uh, this program, and, and it's really the, one of the most charming programs uh, in New England. And uh, so we have it on film to be seen that day, two days later, a year later, 20 years later. But uh, we have it there. Um, I am checking in the wings here, but I do not see Mr. Bills. No, I do not see Mr. Bills. Um, <laughs> um, let me get back. Uh, I'm going to just. There I am back again. Um, so, you know, we, we move things around a little bit and, uh, let us start with our second guest, who is um, just a bright, incredible, and fun performer from Peterborough. And I will bring her in uh, momentarily because she's going to perform live for us. And let me, her name is Eve Pierce. And there is Eve. Hi. Hello, Eve. Hi. How How's are you? Going? I'm all right. Thank you for being accommodating so that we can uh, start with you. Uh, normally, our performers end our shows on a high note. Uh, today, we're, we have to uh, flip it around, and uh, hopefully, Joe is fine, and uh, maybe Joe will come on after you. And we also, of course, everyone, it's Thursdays, so we've got Kim, Kim Graham, our producer for this show, but also the editor of uh, uh, Go Manadnock will be on with some uh, tips right after Eve. So Eve, um, you, uh, how long have you been professionally singing? Because you're professionally. quite young, so it can't be too long, or maybe it is. Uh, professionally, I, a couple of years, I would yeah. say since I, I would say since I graduated high school. And Eve, what, uh, what motive, we like to always find out where everyone that we have on this show is, uh, talking about their careers, what motivated you to get into, you know, towards music, towards uh, songwriting? Uh, I mean, I guess I, it's just something I've always done performance and I done theater just since I was like a little, little small child. So it's just sort of been something I've always done and it's something I've always wanted to do. Like I can't, I can't picture myself doing anything else, but the song, the songwriting came later when I was like a teenager in high school because I, you know, that sort of came late in the game. And then and, I, I was like, Oh, I love this. <laughs> and did you perform at school at all or did, uh, was it outside of school? I did. I performed at school a little bit. But it, it came very late in the game in my high school career. So I did I did perform some originals at um I performed some originals at school. I wrote I wrote one of my I wrote my first single for a class actually at Conval. I was doing a theater arts class and I wrote this song for a comedy bit for my final. And it's it's Snake Song. I wrote Snake Song for that class and it just like gained a small following within that class and i thought hey maybe this song is maybe the song is good for something <laughs> yeah i think that's I, like the first time i leaned into it and I, did you take a lot of music courses or i i did i did a lot of i did music constantly as a kid i was always singing and my mother was always really 
encouraging of music and music in the house and singing everywhere and me singing as loud as I can. And um, I also, I took all the choir classes at Conval with Crystal Morin when she was working there. And she really w did an incredible amount for me yeah. for music. It's nice to have mentors. <laughs> oh yeah. And um, now, and you've been involved. I, I'm, uh, I saw you up at the Peterborough Players Cabaret. I think it was last summer, correct? Yeah. Yes. And how did you get that connection to? Because you're not, you weren't an intern, were you? I was. I was an intern. Oh, you were. Last I'm year. sorry. I didn't realize and, that. And then the year before, I was an apprentice, but I was still within the second company sphere. But last year I was an intern and I did the the full day, full day's work. Yeah. Which lots is always of work. like a, a blast. Incredible. Always an incredible experience to be there whenever. Yeah. I yeah. I now, you, I also yeah, I also act and sing and that was my other question. Thing. I mean, uh, you know, do you also like to act a lot? Oh, I love to act. I a big thing about the songwriting for me is I really, I love to perform. That's like my main shtick. So it's the songwriting is a lot about the performance aspect of it and doing the songs live and how I can do them live in different ways. And like that, that's always been a big important aspect of theater music. Anything I do is the performance aspect. Well, I think uh, rather than keep chatting away, uh, we need to uh, hear your talent because you have lots of it. And so I am going to give you the full screen. I'll let you introduce and, uh, you know, play away. All right. Okay. Let's see. Let's, I, let me set my mic down. Let me grab this. Um, I'm, let's see. That sounds into it. Uh, this first song is actually on Spotify right now. Um, this is my first uh, single, non-comedic single. It's a, I guess it's a little comedic, but it's my, my first uh, single single. And it's called Hades and Persephone. We're going to do a little acoustic version of it. Like my 
Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Next is a song I wrote more recently that is going to be on uh, my upcoming album that I've actually been recording at Loud Sun Studio in Jaffrey. Um, but this is a this is a little newer. Uh, this is the song's called Gargoyles. It's it's about gargoyles, I guess. This one's uh this one is probably this is one of the first songs I ever wrote that I performed live so I it has a special place in my heart and I write I like to write about Greek mythology sometimes in case you haven't figured that out so it's a little it's a little bit more of a taste of that from the first day that Oh, God of love. 
Hi, Eve. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm, I'm clapping for everyone virtually uh, that are out watching right live right now. But that those are beautiful. They're fun. Um, you know, I, and I have to remind people that a week from tomorrow, uh, Eve will be helping us with entertainment on our telethon and auction. Every once in a, you know, once in a while, we will break away and we may have an, uh, some other entertainers, but we certainly have Eve who will be providing some uh, beautiful songs like that. Hopefully some of them uh, as those same songs again uh, for that audience. And uh, just to make it a nice entertaining night, in addition to our celebrity judges, we have the most talented uh, Eve Pierce will be with us. So Eve, uh, let everyone know, um, I know, I was able to get your music on Spotify. Where else can we get your music? You can get it, you can get it just about everywhere. You can get it on Spotify. I'm on the YouTubes. I'm <laughs> on iTunes. Uh, wherever you can find music, I'm pretty sure I'm on there. Good. Um, yeah, you can find me anywhere. You can find me on so it, my social media. You can find me on Instagram or Facebook. Is there yeah. a main? Uh, do you have a main website? Not yet. That's in the works. In that's, the a works. that's a special project that I'm working on. Uh, okay. Well, then we'll hopefully uh, you'll let us know about that. But we'll uh, in our show notes, yeah. uh, we will put all of your contact information so people can find your lovely music. And, uh, and again, uh, tune in to see Eve on July 10th uh, from 7 to 9 p.m. She will be peppered into our, uh, spiced into our broadcast that night. So, Eve, I can't thank you enough. Delightful, wonderful, talented performance. Uh, best to you. And uh, we look forward to see you again next week. Awesome. Thank you for having me. Uh, our this pleasure. Is amazing. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Eve. <laughs> All right, Eve. Bye bye thank now. Bye bye. Wow. Uh, really refreshing. Uh, just lovely, uh, positive, just you know, lovely music from Eve Pierce. Don't forget that name. Um, and now, uh, Joe, I, there must've been a miscommunication and I hope that's all it was, uh, that Mr. Joe Bills has not made it, uh, to the broadcast tonight. And, um, so, uh, but that's okay because we still have lots of things to talk about. And uh, most importantly, as I always say, it's Thursday and that means it's Goldman ad uh, segment day and three, two, and one. There is Kim Graham. Hi. Hello. Hello, Kim. Kim, everybody wants to know, and thanks to Goldman Adnock, it's possible. What are the best things to do this weekend, this important July 4th day weekend? What's going on? I know. On? I know. I'm happy because I had lots to choose from, lots of options to choose from this week. Um, so there are not many fireworks that are happening in our area um, this weekend, but there is one. Do you know where it is? Steve, do you know where it is? Uh, no. Uh, one fire. Well, not one firework, one firework but show. One firework show. I mean, in the town of Jaffrey. No. Yeah. Um, at the Shattuck on Saturday. Oh, yeah. very good. Very good. Donnie good. And his, yeah, Donnie and his crew are having um, uh, fireworks on Saturday. Um, they're having a pig roast with all the fixings. So um, there's a cost for the pig roast and the food, but the fireworks are free. So if you want to come and hang out on the lawn and watch the fireworks show, you can do that. And Atlas is actually providing the fireworks. So it's wonderful. Gonna be wonderful. Great no one, no one can do it better than Atlas and uh, hats off to uh, Donnie and his team for putting that together at the Shattuck. Uh, yeah. That should be, that should be a lot of fun. Yeah. That should be and a lot of fun. I'm not sure if he's taking donations for the fireworks show. I know that he's doing it without, sponsorship or anything so yeah i mean if you if there's no donation box at least you know buy a beverage or buy something from the tap room or or you know buy something from the pig roast just to support yeah. yeah so there's so that's the fireworks there's a couple of other events in jaffrey that are happening um 
there's door decorations that the um, Parks and Rec, that event has, the Parks and Rec are putting that event on, excuse me. Um, and then also tomorrow is the third and tomorrow is the last day for you to, um, to bring in your cans. So Parks and Rec is, is taking cans that are punched out with different designs and they're gonna be putting them up downtown Jaffrey on the 4th. So if you don't want to head to the fireworks and you just wanna have a quiet evening downtown, they're doing that on Saturday. Um, also the fourth annual Art in the Park is happening um, in Depot Square and in Depot Park on Saturday. And the weather looks perfect. The rain date was on Sunday, but it looks like they won't need to resort to that. So there's gonna be, they have 25 different artists that have signed up to, um, to participate in that. They have a couple of bands throughout the afternoon and then Flying Gravity Circus is going to be milling around the park and um, juggling and doing all sorts of circus things. Those are the kids from from Wilton, so that should be a fun event. They are asking uh, customers and patrons to wear masks, and the tents will all be, you know, divided up so there's lots of space for everyone. So, so it should be a good event. I think it's timely because people are looking for something to do outside in a safe environment with food and friends and and music. So, um, so it should be a good event. Uh, Today, yes, today's Thursday, so the, the Monadnock Music had the first installment today of um, Listen and Lunch, that's <clears throat> free music, excuse me, <coughs> in Depot Park on Thursdays. Um, that will continue throughout the summer, and then um, I believe, I'm 99% positive that uh, they're going to start music in Depot Square uh, on Friday starting next week, too. So, um Mostly, mo a lot of the towns have summer concert series in the summer. Some have had to cancel. Still waiting to hear if some other towns are going to hold those this summer. So um, that's something to, to look forward to. It, it would be nice to be able to have those options, but you know, not everybody wants to perform and not all towns want to have those events happening. So it's just, it's such a different world. Uh, one virtual event that I want to talk about, um, just looking at my notes, is the Monadnock Summer Lyceum. They're having their second um, live stream talk on Sunday, and um, it's speaker Joanne Berger Sweeney, and she is the president of Trinity College, and she's going to be talking about um, free speech at the college and and in the world. So that's a very timely talk as well. And that's live streamed um, on the Summer Lyceum, Monadnock Summer Lyceum's webpage. Uh, music starts around 1045 and the speakers always start at 11. So, so that's, your, that's your rundown. There's a few other things on the calendar for this weekend. Um, there's music in Greenfield. The Hungry Goats Eatery has a band on Friday and on Saturday. Um, oh, and then also, I didn't scroll up far enough. The park, the, not the park theater, <laughs> community, the Peterborough Community Theater. Um, oh, yeah. They have started their, um, their movies. So the next couple of weeks is mystery weeks. So it's kind of a, you get what you get kind of deal. They are not charging for ticket prices. They're just taking donations because um, they're not advertising what the movies are. So I took my kids yesterday and the hint was, it was a movie from, it was rated PG. It was a movie from the 1930s and it had a, a terrier in it. So I was like, ooh, I think I know what that is. Is that the, could that be the Thin Man? The, no. That, uh, because a terrier from the 30s is always, uh, reminds me of the Thin Man husband and wife uh, detective team. Nope. Nope. It was, um, it was the Wizard of Oz. Oh, <laughs> just that little film. <laughs> just that little one. And just my kids had never seen it. I think that they had uh, seen it. Well, I tried to show it to them, I think, when they were younger and they didn't have any interest. So that was really cool. They saw it on the big screen because when do you ever see The Wizard of Oz on the big screen? Well, I guarantee you're going to see it on our big screen 
because we will uh, that will be an, one of the staples of our uh, film. Uh, we'll show first run films, but we will I, I cannot wait. In fact, we were talking to a, per, the expert uh, for our projector and equipment so that we can show something, you know, Oh, so fantastic from the, the new films, but also because they've restored these films like uh, Wizard of Oz and um, uh, Casablanca. I mean, almost everything's been restored now. Um, they've been working on them for the past 10 years to get almost every film in, in, in from the 70s back yeah. uh, restored. So they and they really do have a different flavor. Um if you've never seen Casablanca on a huge screen, it's a completely different film or, you know, a cool hand Luke or any of these other ones. Uh, if you've only seen them, even on the big screens that you have home now, there's still something when you go to a big screen at a TV, uh, you know, at a theater with other people. Right. Yeah. Right. So. Yeah. Well, and that's what we've been missing that, camaraderie and community at the movie theaters you know you can put on anything here at your house and if you have a big enough tv it works but you know you're not listening to the guy next door that's or you know in the next aisle that's laughing because you're laughing or he knows what's coming up so yeah it's good. it's nice nice to be back good We've got a few things to do uh, and as I said, please do not forget, uh, and you can do it from the comfort of your home or your cell phone or wherever you want to, however you want to do it, but um, townofjaffrey.com on Saturday at 12 noon, it becomes public, is the virtual reading of the Declaration of Independence that was done inside the Jaffrey Meeting House and produced there. And uh, um, so... Uh, please uh, do that. Now, I just got a message from Joe. Uh, he thought it was tomorrow night, and uh, but we'll we'll get Joe back on here. Don't worry, Joe. We uh, we had a lovely performance, and I thank again Eve Pierce, and uh, always thank Kim Graham for helping us produce this show, as well as her Go Manadnock segments of what's the best to do. And don't forget, go to gomanadnock.com and sign up and get on her email list. And thank you, Kim. And I'm just going to tell people who we're going to have on our show next week. Okay. All right. Bye. All right. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Bye. So thank you, Kim. And uh, and as I say, Joe, we'll get you on. Don't worry. We'll, we will find you. But um, next week, who do we have coming on? Well, we have... Um, Two, uh, two really interesting guests. Uh, on our Tuesday show, we have Tori McCagg. And Tori, who is very much into sustainability and a lot of initiatives in our region uh, to, make us a, uh, to make us a better place. And uh, hats off to Tori and her, Carl, her husband, Carl, uh, for all the initiatives that she does in that, in that. And we probably will touch on some of those things. But she has a brand new book that came out mid June and it's got a nice extended title that I will tell you. It's called at crossroads with chickens, a what if it works adventure in off grid living and quest for home. And, uh, she is a multi award winning writer. So that is going to be a fun show, uh, Tuesday, the seventh, uh, with a surprise guest after Tori, uh, a performance guest. And then I mentioned on our last show uh, on Thursday, it's going to be 100% Lucinda Hoxley. And as I've said before, Lucinda, uh, a major talent on her own in terms of an acclaimed award-winning biographer focused mainly on Victorian times. But of course, when I say uh, what her uh, relative, uh, famous relative that she has, who she's written many books about, uh, she is the great, great, great granddaughter of Charles Dickens. And she is a, one of the acclaimed scholars of, uh, Charles Dickens in, in the world. And, uh, so she will talk about that and what's going on there. And, uh, it will be coming from London and she will talk about, uh, well, <laughs> what she had a lot. She travels all over the world, uh, lecturing, 
Uh, she has at least one book come out every year. Uh, and uh, she is also donating a book, an autographed book to our, I don't have it posted yet, but to our auction. And we thank you, Lucinda, very much for that. So Lucinda will be on, on uh, as I say, July 9th at 5 p.m. next Thursday, a week from today, Lucinda Hawksley. And next, um, just want to know that we do have a new movie. It's a new older movie uh, that will be uh, starting tomorrow in our virtual movie theater. It is a German film, a uh, highly regarded film that it was, even though it's a new, uh, relatively new film, it was just restored and it's been put into circulation again in virtual movie theaters like ours all over the country. And it is what is really know, known as the Berlin School and you can, uh, of filmmaking, and you can Google that and you can find out what that means. But uh, he, this director, uh, Ulrich Kula, Kohler, or Kohler, uh, did a film in my in my room, but this this particular film is a portrait of a young German soldier um, that goes A W O L and uh, and it's, so it's but also finds love during that period and it's it's about militarism, you know, family estrangement uh, and and love. So I think you're going to get a kick out of it, and you can rent that. Uh, through our, uh, if you go to the parktheater.org and click pay movies in the upper right, uh, you can find out all about it tomorrow, uh, tomorrow afternoon, or yeah, it's tomorrow afternoon. Uh, so this is our show, and this is a show that is made possible from wonderful folks uh, like our friends and nonstop supporters over at. Um, Beltates, a lumber and building material business, family owned since 1898. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And then uh, you can be a sponsor. We always ask if you'd like to, to please give us uh, a call or email us at park TV at the park theater.org. And if you, or call us at five, three, two, nine, 300. And if you, uh, if you know of someone that you think may be interest, interesting to our audience, whether to be interviewed uh, from the Monadnock region or or beyond, but uh, or uh, a talented person, a performer who uh, sings, who writes, who uh, juggles, who's a comedian, any of the above, uh, bring them to our attention. We'd love to know more about. We'd love to know about them and. Possibly they'll, we'll invite them onto the show. So uh, please do that as well. And as we end our shows, we remind folks that it's so important to be safe, be healthy, be kind, think of others, and be hopeful because we can do this. I'm Steve Jackson, and I thank everyone uh, for being here today, Eve Pierce, Kim Graham, and we'll get Joe, Joe Bills will return. Well, he, I guess he doesn't really return because he wasn't here, but he will be here. And so um, stay tuned for that. But again, I'm Steve Jackson. Thanks for uh, watching us tonight. And we will see you next Tuesday. Have a happy and safe uh, July 4th weekend. That begins because Friday is the official federal holiday. Begins tomorrow. Uh, we love you. Stay with us. And uh, don't forget to go to the parktheater.org and look at those lovely auction items. Have a great weekend, everybody.